So in this video, I wanted to briefly talk about this pen. It's called the Bic Crystal Exact. Some people call it the Bic Crystal Ultra Fine, because that's what it says on the pen, but on the label, or if you're shopping around for it, you're looking for the Bic Crystal Exact. And uh, basically what this is, it's a uh, Bic Crystal, the iconic pen that's been around since the, uh, I don't know, the late 50s, or maybe early 60s, something like that. Uh, same ballpoint, same formula, same body, but it has a... Uh, needle style tip, so a thinner needle style or a needle tip design. Uh, it's very similar to the original as far as all the hardware goes, but the actual writing tip itself comes to a finer point. So it's not only a needle tip, but the uh, actual the ball of the uh, ballpoint is a good deal smaller than you'd expect. So here I have a Bic crystal bold this is actually a brand new one so we have a perfect reference point bic crystal bold they don't call it the bold on the packaging they call it the uh 1.6 millimeter on the pen itself rather and you can see how broad it is and here you have the exact you can see it's a good deal finer we have some of the packaging here so you can see bic crystal exact ultra precise tip smooth writing and this is what we we're looking for 0.7 millimeter so uh the extra bold that we were just talking about here i called it the bold and at the extra bold this is uh i don't know if it says on the packaging maybe it doesn't it says on the pen though that's a 1.6 millimeter here we have the normal exact which is 0.7 millimeter the uh the standard one i think they maybe just call it the bold whatever that is uh right in the middle. I think it's either 1.0 or 1.2. So what's the deal with the Bic Crystal Exact? Uh, there's really not much to it. It's the same pen with a smaller or finer tip. The packaging doesn't have anything too revealing on it. Just uh, ultra fine, 20 pens, whatever. Is that just how they sell it? Uh, you may not find this in the US that often, uh, but you can see it's sold in, let's see. Great Britain, France, Netherlands, Germany, Italy, uh, whatever. I keep going down this list. Denmark, Finland, Sweden, sorry, Switzerland, Greece, Poland. I'm sure I'm missing a few. Uh, Romania, Hungary, uh, whatever. So it's sold all over the place, but I believe it's primarily a European pen. So if you're looking for this, you're probably going to be importing it, but you can still find it on, uh, you know, Amazon and uh, eBay and stuff like that. You're probably not going to go to your local Staples or uh, I don't know, even where people buy pens in person, but they're probably not going to have it at Office Depot, something like that. Okay, hardware. The caps are the same. It's that same plastic cap. The blue looks a little darker on this one and a little bit lighter on this one, but like extremely subtle and my eyes just be maybe playing tricks on me. But if we look at the body, we could see the the uh, extra bold has a uh, what they call a smoke body. Uh, so it's like a grayish. It's like not clear, but it's like kind of grayish where this one is uh, blue tinted. It's also transparent or sorry, translucent like the original but the original is clear this one is smoke this one is blue i don't think the colors are always 100 percent coordinated with the model because i have some standard models that are yellow and blue so i think there's some variation there but typically in the us these days we're seeing the crystal and smoke and this one i happen to find the uh sorry the extra bold and smoke and the uh ultra fine in the blue See some other differences? The font is really interesting. Here we see the uh, white on crystal. Here we see the uh, the blue, uh, sorry, the silver on the crystal. The Here it's like kind of broad. Here it's much less broad. I don't know if that's a reference to it being broad versus ultra fine, probably, but it's hard to tell. It's not like uh, I'm able to just buy a bunch of these and, and compare. Uh, but it's broader here, finer here. Here we see it says 1.6. Here it says ultra fine instead of uh, 0.7 millimeter. I'm not really sure why that is. Same logo 
uh, definitely less definition with that silver stamp or whatever that is. The white comes through much clearer. Maybe just was his larger. As far as the writing tips go, we see here's a blue. Here's the traditional gold or bronze, whatever you want to call that. Uh, this is typically what you would see. The blue you see sometimes, uh, but it's definitely a different design. Pretty easy to remove. No difference there. Taking the refill out, we could see same length. Uh, this one's down a little bit more, so I've been using it, even though it's still a relatively new pen. And just confirming they are fully interchangeable. Well, it doesn't really want to go in all the way. Let's see if this one goes in here. Yeah. So essentially interchangeable. Maybe not. Maybe there's a slight difference. A little bit hard to to tell, just because there's a little bit of a gap there. But I don't want to force it in there, then not be able to use it. So we'll keep moving. Okay. So let's get into the writing now. This is the Bic Crystal 0.7 millimeter, and this is the exact. Here we have the Bic Crystal 1.6 millimeter, and this is called the Ultra Bold. So the Exact is a good writer. I have no problems with it. Uh, you get nice definition, better smoothness than you'd expect. You know, it's not super smooth like the Ultra Bold, but it's, you know, it's fine. It's like as smooth as it needs to be. And then, uh, but you're missing out on the, the definition of the Ultra Bold and that really, really broad, super smooth flow that I love with the Crystal 1.6, but this is uh, like one of my top, top pens. The uh, exact, while I really enjoy writing with it, I find it to be, you know, relatively unremarkable. Is it affordable? Sure. Is it cool change of pace on a classic pen? Of course, no question there. Uh, you know, is it very reliable and does it last pretty much forever? Yeah, 100%. And that, you're getting a big Crystal and it's a fun play on the original, but... For me, the, the Ultra Bold is really the one that stands out. It just, I love the smoothness and just so much fun to use. It's fun to draw. If you push more or less, you could get actual line variation the way you can with a fountain pen. You're not getting that sort of stuff with this. You know, maybe a slight bit, but essentially, no. This is just a day-to-day, -day reliable, fun pen to use and kind of an office-ready pen. And maybe it's not even that fun to use. It's just, it's fun when it's a crystal and I get a kick out of that, but you know, it's just a day-to-day -day pen, and it's not too different than if you just grabbed a random ballpoint here. What is here? Uh, random Pilot Super Grip G Plus, whatever, whatever, in a, uh, this is a 0.5 millimeter. It's essentially the same pen. In fact, it's a little bit smoother, and you get some better darkness than the Bic Crystal Ultra Fine. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I like the Bic Crystal Ultra Fine in that it is a Bic Crystal, which is uh, one of the, you know, the finest pens ever made and has been for 50 plus years. But for me, it's not really a notable addition to the Crystal family. It was good enough before uh, at the original width. It was made much, much better, in my opinion, at the Ultra Bold or the Extra Bold. Uh, and then, you know, the company wanted to broaden out the line with an Ultra Fine, which I understand people see a pen they recognize and it, you know they want something finer so they get their favorite which is the crystal no problem there from a, like a corporate standpoint but if you're just looking for a finer than normal ballpoint pen there's so many options that the crystal ultra fine doesn't really differentiate itself except in as much as it's a crystal and we like them so interesting pickup and i'm glad i got it but this is definitely not a pen that you need to 
run down and buy. So I think that pretty much covers it. The Bic Crystal Ultra Fine. Thanks for watching.